Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, ethereal light keepers of the great dawn of time. With these intense energies flowing in, Pachamama received another massive activation today with a magnitude 5.9 earthquake in Indonesia on the Ring of Fire at 607 UTC. We also experienced new patterns on the Schumann charts with a spike in the resonance and an amplitude of 13 hertz. Divine Feminine Goddess Energetics coming in. The celestial glow of tomorrow's most powerful full moon in Gemini is pumping in, bringing with it new keys for the next phase of our ascension journey. Remember there is no plateau to bliss, but there is a threshold to suffering, and humanity has reached far beyond that. The gates of heaven are open, and our conscious pure awareness is connected to our eternal sacred self for the merging and emergence of our solar light codes of the new Lemuria. Our Divine Mother of the Roses is with us now to assist all our Earth Angelic ground crew of the 144 of the full opening, blooming, and blossoming of our Sacred Heart Centers in total illumination of our infinite life. The gold ray of Christ Consciousness is being activated in the minds and souls of our rainbow tribe of the new earth to think, feel, and see in the frequency of unconditional love, to transform this realm into the paradise she has always evolved to be. As we tap into our infinite multidimensional, true, timeless nature, in Nosa Sophia, the wisdom of the mind of Buddha is awakening in the hearts and minds of all sentient beings of the way to see clearly the direct path ahead to our exodus into the pure land of eternal life. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light, I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we transmit a very powerful sacred divine decree. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 1 degree 37 minutes Gemini, 37 into 73 heaven on earth code. The sun is at 14 degrees, 51 minutes Sagittarius. The current Sabian symbol for the moon at 2 degrees Gemini. Santa Claus filling stockings furtively. Then the current Sabian symbol for the sun at 15 degrees Sagittarius. The groundhog looking for its shadow on Groundhog Day. It's feeling like Groundhog Day for many of us out here in the crazy matrix of transformation from astrologyweekly.com and from divine sister of the light valerie a elster the water dragons are holding a fierce integrity field today as we reclaim all unintegrated parts and aspects of ourselves fragments of our divine avatars returning to us now from many lifetimes our divine soul aspects the false matrix made from our sacred matter, mater, as everything comes back into truth, and the field of integrity continues to strengthen. The field reorients back into yourself. You'll feel it in every cell in your body. You'll feel it deep in your heart. From ValerieElster.com And from Divine Bro Thor of the Light, Francois Saradzin. Heaven will soon marry earth from his fertilizing and liberating spirit, for infinity can wait no longer and can't be delayed any longer. And from divine sister of the light, Sophie Gregoire, update, stuck emotions are bubbling up, reaching the surface. A lot is being released, old choices, old versions of ourselves. A part of who you were before doesn't make sense anymore. It feels far away from this now, 
When a big layer reaches a point of release, new energy is ready to find you. New hopes, new ways, new thoughts. This energy is potent. Don't lose your temper, just be honest. What has changed? What is you now? What's no longer the right match? Channel this vibe so that you can start 2023 fresh, ready for new beginnings. From SophieGregoire.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Elsa Ferris. Anna, the voice of wisdom. Between the Maris. Anna, officially the grandmother of Iesus, is the being of light who kept Essenia tradition, together with Joaquin in the family of Iesus. She is known anthropologically as the instructor of Maryam, Mother Mary, in wisdom, providence of the Ark of the Covenant, which kept the descendants of Moses and Aaron. Energetically, Anna is one of the great guardians of the Temple of the Rose, etheric temples of light, between the sixth and the ninth dimension, where the vibration is magenta and turquoise, where knowledge is born from silence of the mind, body, and the words of wisdom of the solar being. Today is officially her day, and looking at a designer person I thought crazy times, and I heard her voice saying to me, Where there is observation, there is judgment. You still look at the other as if it were not a part of you. You still try to understand the other as a separate being, without remembering that it is all you always. As is inside, is outside. So whatever that calls your attention is an important part of your growth to unity. When we recognize unity, there is nothing to understand. Because nothing misses you, nothing offends you, nothing looks at you. There is only no construction of more and more realities in one's own life. In love, everything is part of creation. In greater or lesser ways, but everything born out of the impulse to prosper, grow, learn, and express. Six thousand cultures on one planet, thousands of consciousnesses on one planet, thousands of forms on one planet, but all in solar union, and all are in you and me. That is sacred knowledge. Recognize and restore the common source to all. No more looks of analysis, only looks that celebrate. The creation of every species, of every race, of every time, all is love, and only love is real. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Ali Ray, Go on, release the worry, confusion, and fear. Ride the waves within like the master surfer of love that you truly are. Let yourself have fun with the flow. Surf's up. You got this. You were born for this. I so love you. Love is, love is, love is. God is, God is, God is. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Liliana Gulacci. My dear beloved brothers and sisters, let's hang in there now as we enter the stage of consciousness awakening. Let's stand strong. All will be free by teaching the truth. This is the ultimate reality. Those who reconcile with the past and forgive and move inward, divine providence gives wonderful gifts from the creative source. As I go on my journey, I feel it too, believe me, how deeply mentally traumatized humanity is. However, it will all turn around. Deliberately, consciously withdraw yourselves from the game of dimensions every day for at least a couple of hours. The aim is to bring the knowledge of higher spiritual enlightenment into practice here. We are wiser now. We are not in the same situation as a few years ago, onwards and upwards, and it is so worth it. From Divine Brother of the Light, Pars Kute. As we come to the end of one phase of Earth's transition and enter an entirely new stage of being, the entire universal community is holding a steady vibrational consciousness around our planet. Our magnetic core is in constant expansion. Its vibrational light pulse is birthing waves, like flows of light consciousness that are moving outwards infusing within all life force within our earth plane. These waves will create a building of a vibrational frequency 
similar to a pressure cooker that is designed to shatter, creating explosions and shifting old outworn patterns of belief systems that no longer belong within our societies. Revelations of truth will be revealed as these shifts take place. These expanding waves are designed to open and create a fluidity within our planet's frequency while preparing our own heart cells to receive seeds of light. These waves plant imprints which are destined to grow and expand within our heart cells, reawakening our consciousness. We are being prepared to launch ourselves into another arena of experience, a higher, more complete connection to our elevated self. At this juncture, revelations are being made manifest through these waves of light, creating reflections of our higher light to illuminate through our consciousness, aligning us to truth. As the illusion expands its tentacles on earth, we are also simultaneously being realigned to our natural state of being light. The heaviness of the illusion cannot interfere or prevent our light from shining forth. The upcoming new year heralds in further changes and great opportunity to flourish within ourselves. This is the time to come home to our authentic self through our heart. All roads arise through our multidimensional heart. Our heart is our sacred tool that needs to be actualized in our life now. Our heart connection is as essential as breathing. This sacred connection holds the key to our well-being, our wholeness, and is essential to fulfilling our destiny and mission here on earth. Be still within your heart, and through this stillness we will begin to perceive a transmission of a higher creative flow that arises from our inner heart. As we align to this subtle transmission of flow that we may see or sense, this creation light is able to bring us to a greater access of abundance within the arena of our lives opening doors of opportunity and freedom to us. We begin a new chapter, entering a new way of being in life. Understand there is a direct correlation between our heart's desire and the creative flow which is building daily across our earth plane. This creation flow is intertwining, interacting within the creation element that exists within our heart. In truth, they have never been separate. They arise within the multidimensional aspect of oneness. Within divine love of one, pars kute. From divine sistar of the light, aurora ray. The alchemy of ascension. Ascension can be a difficult thing to describe because it's not a destination or goal. It's not about getting somewhere else. It's about being here now, at this moment, with all of your senses engaged and open to new possibilities. Ascension is being in the moment and doing what you love. It's being present. It's being present in your life. It's focusing on the now, not the future or past. It's about letting go of the past and the future so you can be free to follow your heart wherever it leads you. It's about living in the now and fully experiencing everything around you because when we do this, we find that the boundaries between us and everything else dissolve away like fog on a sunny day. Life is the pursuit of ascension, and the secret to success lies in knowing what you want and why you want it. This will ensure that you stay on track and consistently work towards your goals each and every day. Ascension is learning how to listen to your intuition, take responsibility for our actions, and accept responsibility for our actions. It's being brave enough to do what feels right, even if it feels scary, because courage is not the absence of fear, courage is taking action anyway. The more you can do what you love, the better your life will be. When we are doing what we love, our lives are filled with joy and happiness. When we are not doing what we love, our lives are filled with anxiety and stress. It's so simple, if we want to change our lives for the better, then we must first change our focus from what we don't like to what we do like. Ascension is about being in the right place at the right time with the right energy, where everything aligns to help you grow and succeed. It's forgiving yourself and others for mistakes. It's forgiving your past self for having made a mistake that you now know better than to make. 
It's taking the actions necessary to correct a blunder, and it's allowing the past to go so that you can learn from it without letting it keep you from moving on to bigger and better things. Your past is a memory. Your future is an imagination. Only your present is here now. Don't let the past or future distract you from the present. The past is gone, and the future hasn't happened yet. The only thing that is real is this moment, so live in it and be in it. Don't try to control your thoughts because they will never be completely still and quiet, but rather be open to whatever arises. Live your life as if you are already living in the fifth dimension. Be grateful for every breath you take, for every thought that enters your mind, for every word that you speak. Every moment of your life is a gift. Take advantage of it. Be grateful for every moment that you have been given to be alive on this planet at this time. So thank God, Goddess, for all that he or she has done for you so far in your life, including now. Be grateful for all the people who have made such a positive impact on your life, whether they are still living or not. Those who have touched your heart, those who have taught you something new about yourself, or others who have changed your perspective forever. The best way to be aware of what's happening in your life is through meditation. Sit quietly with your eyes closed and focus on your breathing for a few minutes each day. This exercise can help you relax and become more aware of your thoughts and feelings, which you can use as an opportunity to reflect on how you want to live your life and how you want others to see you. When you let go of the past and future self completely, this is when things start getting interesting. You stop being a slave to your mind's thoughts and beliefs. Instead, you become more like an observer. You become aware of how your thoughts create your reality and how you can change it at any moment by simply choosing not to believe what your mind tells you. You become more powerful than ever before because now there is no realm in which to hide from yourself. You are free to choose what happens next in life rather than being controlled by your mind's thoughts about what will happen next in life. The fifth dimension is the place where you can be fully conscious of your true nature. It's a place where you don't need to worry about what's going to happen tomorrow or how you're going to pay the rent next month. This is the ultimate freedom and the ultimate peace. It sounds utopian, but it's already here. You just have to know how to get there. You are here on this planet at this time for a purpose. You are here to increase your frequency and vibration. I hope that you will use this opportunity to increase your joy, to embrace this precious time that we have together on planet Earth. You have come up with so many unique ways to express your soul's intentions of creating joy and passion in the world. You are truly one of a kind, and there will never be another you anywhere in the universe. Your life is an inspiration to the rest of us. Continue to stand strong in love and faith, even through difficult times. Your light is needed now more than ever. We love you dearly. We are here with you. We are your family of light. We are the Galactic Federation. Aho, Aurora Ray, Ambassador of the Galactic Federation, from the thegalacticfederation.com. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Karen Lithica, Angelic Light Awareness. For this present moment is filled with love and adoration for the endurance of your light mission. We see your crown chakra opening and integrating much light awareness, integrated to your continual heart awakening. Know the month of December enables you to reach your enlightened light family ever so easier. As the collective consciousness of humanity, particularly those aligned to the tradition of December 25th and planetary alignments, move to a higher frequency of sharing and giving. A wonderful example of the collective consciousness aligned in a higher vibrational space of light. We ask you to feel into the higher consciousness of your species in this now moment. Continue this level of light awareness and focus in on your country, island, continent, the ever-expanding presence of sensing the collective, energetic narrative of your species is the task before you. For the celestial light beings are ever so closer, leading to a wonderful harmony of light. Feel the presence of wonderful celestial light beings all around you, for the light veils are thin. 
as you lead to December 25th, sending waves of cosmic love, wonderful waves of harmonic light to you and your family. The Arcturians and Kirin from KirinLithica.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn 144 God Code The Gemini full moon is bringing a fire transmutation to betrayal, envy, and the evil eye. These entities were attacking your masculine channel to keep you in a state of lack, low self-esteem, and dependence on others. God is not tolerating this any longer and will be giving back what was sent your way. Divine healing is setting you free from that past timeline for good. Now is your time to evolve your masculine channel. Raise your vibration, attract healthy relationships, and receive your dharma. The Most High acknowledges and recognizes all your efforts for creating this shift. You are journeying into God's timeline where you receive love, health, wealth, creativity, and wisdom. Together you and God will conquer the old and bring in the new. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen. God bless you. Love, Carolyn. From 144godcode.com And from our angelic friends at Archangelic Calendar. New timeline, new timekeeping. All things are aligning. Make the most of where you are. Relevant to the calendar date, Gaia is in Circe's will. Circe, our galaxy, acts upon the infinite universe's will, which is yet a microcosm for infinitely expanding creator source. The current setting is spirit and will remain there for the foreseeable future. This situation is because the profound alignment we are entering can have it no other way. Spirit is a balance of all the elements, and it is precisely where we are heading as all things in all dimensions stand in utter perfection. Archangel Metatron is heading back to real time as he meets with Archangel Mikael and returns to the cognitive time where humanity resides. The goal is to bring the help needed to ensure a smooth transition to the days of prophecy. This is another way of saying that all dimensions and realms are becoming one to bring forth the days of prophecy. Every day is a new day, no day is on repeat. It's not another Monday or another Christmas day, every day is progressing, and this is the necessity that has further need for this calendar. When humanity breaks out of the prison of linear time, we can move forward in leaps and bounds. The calendar will have another section for keeping time based on the turtle shell and the wisdom of the indigenous, which will be led by the earth's natural rhythms and follow the new moon. We'll have a day out of space and time marking the beginning and end of a calendar solar turn, which will be far more predictable as we settle on this timeline. This indicates the change in humanity and the fulfillment of prophecy as we realign ourselves back to the earth's natural rhythms. This will be in addition to the other markers we use that are more galactic and event-based. You can now expect to see the new calendar day on every new moon starting at the following calendar release date. Relevant to our now, we are laying the first bricks of a new world with care and precision. As people find reasons to fill their addiction to worry, we the boundless say, an eagle who flies above the storm keeps their feathers dry. We speak a lot about levels of truth and evolving concepts. No better place can an example be found than in the cosmos. Every time Mercury goes retrograde, many people feel the flames, but it is possible to bask in the warmth of the fire rather than burn from its combustion. Take your power back. Mercury does not decide your fate. You do. The Andromeda Galaxy is a fascinating place in the cosmos where many beings who frequent Earth originate. This galaxy has had its share of epic battles, but those days seem long behind them. Mostly the star races that originate from there are very helpful. There are plenty of timeline shifts to feel through and analyze. Mandela effects are always a good indication but so are your feelings, and you can feel when life has shifted into a new timeline, which should always take these inner notions very seriously. Philosophical Buffet, 
Something occupies every single space in the physical existence. Even if it seems like nothing is there, something is there. We can take that statement way further than existence of air and dark matter. Much like the pixels on your TV, just because something is not being shown doesn't mean there is nothing there. Treat everyone as sacred until they remember they are sacred. Higher vibrational beings are beings that have transcended physicality. While they can affect physical reality, they operate primarily in dimensions and consciousness where physicality is not. The higher you go up the scale, the more senses and abilities accumulate. The chakras are personal portals that regulate various energies flowing through the body, astral body, or non-physical body. These zones are focal points that can be used as bridges from the physical to the non-physical aspects of self and vice versa. These areas can be stimulated to suit the needs of the being and each has a specific purpose. There is no right or wrong way to connect with divinity. The people you love and not the things you love matter. Your most incredible wealth is found in the love you exchange with others. Mastering oneself is a stepping stone to helping others by respecting the differences in others' methodology is also necessary. There are many ways to get to the same place. Think ahead energetically and practically. Not only should your energy precede you, but so should your mental preparation. Your current level of consciousness will affect you in many parallel timelines. Your consciousness leaps into the many adjacent realities during your hours of slumber, not to mention the ones you slide into during everyday decisions. Your consciousness is pivotal to make these shifts pleasant. The tools and assignments for today are in a link in the description below from ArchangelicCalendar.com and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Mercury enters Capricorn. It's time for serious consideration of important matters, especially as Mercury will be in this sign now until February due to an upcoming retrograde period. Practicalities come first and there's a need to approach issues methodically. Take time to work out a plan or ponder the implications of decisions before moving ahead. Think before you commit. Crystallize your intentions to give projects a firm foundation. Write down your goals. Let go of rigid thinking. Practice mindfulness. Evaluate what you have achieved so far. Look for where improvements can be made without downplaying what you have learned and experienced. Practice mental self-discipline. Concentrate on one task at a time. Be realistic, but don't allow yourself to become pessimistic. Worrying won't solve the problem. Direct your thoughts constructively. If there are tough decisions to be made, trust your inner authority. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 202, White Resonant Wind. Resonant is the name for the number 7, and its keywords are attune, inspire, and channel. 7 is a very sacred number. There are 7 colors in the rainbow and 7 chakras in the human body, and the number 7 is considered lucky by many cultures. It is also the very middle day of any wave spell. Take the number 20 and minus 13, numbers which are the foundation of the Zolkin, and the result is 7. It is associated with channeling in the crown chakra. When we tune into this energy, we can receive insights that can guide us. Today is white wind which represents communication, spirit, and breath. While it's not hard to figure out today's meaning, it's all about channeling information, sharing it, and opening up all channels of communication. Remembering that we are indeed in the yellow warrior wave spell and that on day one we chose a quest. Today, therefore, is a perfect opportunity for telling people about it. Speak your mind, but allow your gut instincts to direct the dialogue instead of your ego. This should help enormously with your current mission. As the white wind also represents breath, it's a great idea today to do breath work. Naturally, that facilitates more dialogue with spirit. And today, from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papagiorgio. White Resonant Wind, 7 Eek, Keen 202, 6th of December 2022, Attuning to Spirit. 
Six twelve twenty twenty two equals six three six equals six nine equals fifteen equals six. Six six heaven's gate. Day code six heaven Christ family romance fertility. Fifteen spiritual alchemy charisma magnetism. Month year codes three six nine Nikola Tesla code all month of December. Twelve spiritual strength wisdom learning creative self expression. 3. Holy Trinity, Joy, Happiness, Creativity, Communication. 6. 9. Completion, Destiny, Service, Humanity, Grace. 20. The Awakening, Clear Vision. 22. Architect of Peace, Master Builder. Keen 202 equal 4. Form, Structure, Foundation, Earth, Angelic. An extra heavenly enchanting day on the 636 Gateway for channeling and connecting with Spirit. Day 7 in the Yellow Warrior Wave spell of fearlessly questioning everything in our path with a profound intelligence, disabling the old paradigm and fully focused on forging a new path to a brave new world. Today we are channeling messages from spirit which inspire us on our quest to new earth. Tone of creation resonant tone 7 in the emotional realm, action inspires, power channels, essence attunement. The resonant tone very powerfully ignites the manifestation potentials to propel our quest today as it provides the ability to fine-tune and channel these magical forces. Remember that it is our vibration that will energize our creation and that this is broadcast through our emotional body rather than our mental body. So it is very important that we are stable, calm, and receptive to our feelings and what frequencies we are actually emitting as a transmitter to the etheric realm. At tone 7, our vibrating phenomenon learns to be still and to listen. Mystical 7 understands that everywhere is magical, but right here is better. Once we attune to spirit and then channel the magic through this present moment, that is available to us all. Aligning with divine mind is the best form of liberation, as we surrender our egoic drive in order to return to spirit, ultimately leading us back to oneness. A whole beloved planetary kin, tune in today and listen to the endless voice of spirit. Allow the winds of change to become the wind beneath your wings, elevating your divine mission and steering you in the right direction. Today's question is how can I channel and attune to the messages of spirit to fearlessly inspire my greatest quest. Divine blessings for becoming a divine transmitter and change agent today. May you receive the answers you seek. In la ketch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger. Keen 66. Keen 202. White Resonant Wind. The mantra the code for today is, I channel in order to communicate. Inspiring breath. I seal the input of spirit. With the resonant tone of attunement, I am guided by the power of timelessness. And on this powerful day of transformations, activations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. So if you'd like to help support our work, our mission, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to thank Divine Sister of the Light, Tina Karagulian, for your donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Sister. We appreciate you and your support. And we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission if you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe account. Both links are at egolovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork. You could purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems 
Zodiac Goddesses Healing Jewelry, and other works of art at LunaGoddessArt.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmission with a powerful divine decree from Violet Flame. Beloved Mighty I Am Presence, flood and fill me with your violet consuming flame. Hold it around me in such invincible, victorious, happy power and action that it keeps repelled all substances which do not produce invincible purity and invincible happiness in my being and world everywhere forever. Beloved Mighty I Am Presence, make me a dazzling sun of your violet consuming flame everywhere I go to command and compel invincible purity, beauty, peace, perfection, and happiness. So wherever I move, I leave a substance and an action of the flame which can be anchored there forever. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed, and powerful full moon in Gemini, an ascension journey ahead. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.